Well, when we approach these patients, certainly the big concern is their neurological condition, which is, in this case, the Moya Moya syndrome or disease. However, when you approach these patients, you also have to look at their full history to see if there are any underlying diseases that may complicate their perioperative course. Certainly, when we see these patients, we go through a very thorough physical examination and a review of their history. Uh, uh, some organisms that may be affected, and particularly someone with a Moya Moya syndrome, would be when they have underlying cardiac disease. Uh, we're here at the Children's Hospital where we take care of a lot of children, a uh, wide spectrum of them, and some of them may have some underlying cardiac disease. So we try to rule that out as part of our history and physical. Uh, another interesting aspect about a uh, child with um, with Moya Moya syndrome is that some of them may have some sickle cell anemia, and that can also complicate the perioperative course. So, for those reasons, we try to see them for an extended period of time prior to the survey to try to discern and to be able to uncover any of these other conditions that may affect their perioperative course. And obviously, whenever you give anesthesia to these patients, um, you have to do a physical exam on them to see if there are any alterations we may need to make in order to deliver safe anesthesia to these patients. Um, uh, specifically, whether or not their airway may be somewhat malformed and we may have difficulty uh, trying to intubate their trachea for the surgery, which is obviously necessary for the procedure to proceed. Um, uh, and the nice thing about children's hospitals, we have a wide variety of specialists, so if we do uncover an uncommon disease, we can always consult our colleagues in the other divisions, such as, for example, cardiology or hematology, or for that matter, uh, ORL, which I mean, where in, in that case they can help us with uh, the management of the patient's airway. So we're, we're very fortunate here at Children's to have a huge group of very devoted and highly skilled individuals.